these pods on the Joshua tree usually bloom once it warms up and they contain seeds right now this will turn into a, a flower and then give way to some fruit and I've never had the seeds inside this so I think it's time we bust one of these open and see what's going on hey y'all Chris with adventure on thanks for joining me check this place out it's called the desert I know impressive these are pretty impressive those are bean pods on that Joshua tree. A lot of people say the desert is just an arid wasteland of hideous shades of brown. Okay, maybe no one other than me has said that, but I'm wrong. And I'm here to show you, you might be wrong too. Let's take a little bit of walk around. We got some snow recently, so I think it's time we adventure on. Had some recent snow, the ground is nice and quiet. I like walking on the ground when it's quiet, not so crunchy and loud. I haven't seen any burrows. Saw a couple of jackrabbits running around. Sure is a lot of dung. Now this location is just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. As a matter of fact, if you head that way, about 20 miles, you'll run right into the western portion of Las Vegas. The Joshua tree is an agave. It's also known as an evergreen succulent. And does have flowers that bloom, and fruit as well. The flowers can bloom as early as February. But depending on the winter, it may take a few, few weeks to a month later. And once the flowers are bloomed, they're edible. You can actually roast them, put them in cooking, or eat them like candy. This should open up with a little bit of a squeeze because it's pretty dried out. And I suspect that we're going to find some very thin, dried out black seeds once I get this apart here, which kind of resembles a dried squash, really, when you look at it inside. Now, right in here is where we're going to find the seeds. Yeah, sure enough. We got some yellows, and we got some dark brown, almost blacks. I'm not sure of the flavor, or what the difference will be between the two, but uh, I'm going to pop them in the old grill and see what we get. Well, they're about the half the size of a, a thumbnail. And uh, I guess we're about to find out, or at least I am, what these bad boys taste like, if anything. Is it possible to go into anaphylactic shock off of random seeds? Hope these are legal in Nevada. Nothing. No real flavor. A little bit of a, kind of a little bit of a zing off of the husk. Kind of like eating a, a, I guess a dried bean pod, but nothing. They're too dried out. So, oh well, we'll try again when it gets warmer, I guess. Here's one that's a little bit younger and a sprout next to it. They usually grow pretty quick when they're young and then they'll add about a half inch per year after that. This path is a burrow path. I can tell by the way it's worn and there aren't too many. It hasn't I don't think it's been used recently so maybe they have new areas they're uh, pretty prevalent in this area. They're wild. They just run around.
this cactus is probably anticipating warmer weather. Temperatures now are dropping into the 30s here in the desert, and that baby needs a blanket. Here's something I was hoping we'd find. Looking in the root system, check this out. It rots from the inside out. And then it basically becomes just a little carcass. No, no real critters underneath there. But you can see how it just, it's like a pastry, just flakes. Well, thanks for joining me on this episode of Adventure On. Sorry we're not out kayaking or hiking. I just figured I'd take a walk around this beautiful mountain range and talk about plants. Why not? Hey, every day is an adventure, so open your door and go explore. And next time, I have no idea where we'll be, but I hope you're here to join me. Until then, Adventure On. Yeah. I marked my territory, Burroughs. This is my castle now. What you gonna do? I am talking to Burroughs Valpine. Is this YouTube friendly?